Okay, today we're going to talk about uh, kind of a newer tool in Illustrator, the Shape Builder tool. And I'll just go really quickly. Um, it does a lot of what the Pathfinder palette does, which is awesome. Um, except it does it in a much more fluid way. So basically, uh, if you have several shapes, and let's color these so that you can see uh, the difference here. Okay, if you have several shapes, they intersect. Notice that they intersect. Um, the Shape Builder tool only works with things that are selected. Um, but anyway, you go to Shift M, or this, this icon right here, and the objects that are selected, if you click them, it becomes its own separate object. Okay, so now you can come in here, click away from that, and you have three separate objects. Okay, or if you highlight everything, Shift M to go back, you can click and drag, and it will combine objects. And there are two objects now. And then it cut that one out. So, like so. Or you can also come in and hold Alt. And notice as I hold Alt, I get a little minus symbol. And now it will delete anything that I click or click and drag on. So let me show you a couple examples of how this would be helpful. Okay, let's let's make a Let's make a couple squares here like this. Let's select all of them by pressing Apple A. Shift M gives us the Shape Builder tool. I'm going to delete this square. Okay, so now I've got this object. I'm going to hold Alt and click and drag. Hold Alt and click and drag. Hold Alt and click and drag. Okay, okay, so I'm going to make these intersect. Now that I've got all these here, um, I'm going to make them overlap and intersect. Now you'll notice that on the Shape Builder tool, you have these options to show color swatches. I'm going to change it to Artwork. I'm going to hit OK. And then we're going to change these uh, to be different colors. I'm not terribly concerned on what the colors are at this point. I just want to make sure that I have four different colors. OK, so highlight everything Apple A. You can also click and drag with the black arrow tool. And now I'm just going to connect these objects and notice how quick and easy that is to make them intersect and I'm just clicking and dragging to combine that's just that's all I'm doing is clicking and dragging to combine and you can kind of make them do that so then when you deselect it look at how intricate that looks those are all kind of going like this now if I wanted to do something else let's say Let's make a vintage TV really fast. Some of you older folk might remember what these look like. These tube TVs. Let's give that a more. Let's just go like that. Okay, I'm gonna throw a rectangle behind it. Let's change that to a nice fake wood grain color. Toss that in the back. That is a hideous color. Warm that up a little bit. Okay, now I am going to make a circle. I'm going to do my speaker here. So I'm going to make a square that crosses this. Make sure that's wide enough for everything. And then I'm going to Apple D, copy that down. Now when I select it all, you'll see Okay, that it intersects that way. I'm going to zoom in on this so we can see what we're doing. Take my Shape Builder tool by pressing Shift-M. This time I'm going to subtract things. So if I hold Alt, click and drag, it'll subtract. Click and drag, it'll subtract. And then I'm just going to get rid of these guys in between, like so. Highlight them all, make them darker. Bring these over. And now we've got the little grill part of that. Do the same thing with the knobs. So come in like this. And I'm just going to go like a little off center. Like that. And then Shift M. Alt click. And you've got kind of some knobs going on like that. So you can kind of do a little vintage deal here. It's like grab this guy, shrink him down. Alt drag to make copies. There you go. Okay, let me show you one more thing that you could do here. 
a circle. I'm going to make this a red button. Not that red. There we go. Okay, and then make another circle like that. Apple C, Apple F to paste that in front. And drag this just off to the center. Let's highlight everything so you see what's going on. And then I'm going to take my Shape Builder tool again. And I'm just going to subtract this in the middle. Subtract this edge. Just get rid of all of that. There we go. Make this slightly darker. Okay, and notice we've created a little shadow. Add your uh, circles in the middle here like this. I'll drag. Shift to select both. I'll drag again. Let's group these up. Group. Grab this guy. Make that the keyframe. Center, center. Okay, then I'm going to grab these guys, this guy again, and this guy, and I'm just going to delete these. Boom, 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 boom. There you go. Now you've got a button. This highlight's not that great. Kind of make that a little bit better, but you get the idea. So that is the Shape Builder tool. It's a lot quicker than the Pathfinder tool, uh, in my opinion, and uh, you can do it on the fly instead of having to go and search and try to figure out what's going to do what. Check me out online at coreycare.com. I'll catch you guys later.